back at the Cleveland Clinic, Dr. Stanley Hazen has been searching for answers beyond cholesterol. We can treat a person's cholesterol level down to the level of what they were when they were a baby. And we still know that there's a significant additional residual risk. So what are the other pathways that are involved beyond cholesterol? Hazen's search beyond cholesterol led to a study of blood collected from heart disease victims. We began with studies of thousands of subjects and said, what can we measure in the blood of humans that tracks with cardiac risk? They did find a compound called TMAO, but where it came from was a mystery. But finding that there was a hint that it may have come from bacteria, it really was a kind of eureka moment and very exciting. What excited Hazen was that it seemed to show up first in the gut. When gut bacteria feed on what we eat, waste byproducts are excreted that show up in the bloodstream. Hazen thought this explained where the TMAO was coming from. But it took some testing to figure out what we ate to make it. The answer was carnitine. It's found in the same stuff they serve back at the heart attack grill, red meat. It's long been associated with heart disease, but researchers suspected that cholesterol and fat couldn't fully explain the connection. Sensing new answers, Hazen investigated. We had a feeding study that involved literally making steaks. And so we bought a George Foreman grill and started making small steaks and then would do timed feeding studies to look at following ingestion of a steak, which is a rich source of carnitine, did certain metabolites appear in the bloodstream. That certain metabolite did indeed appear, high levels of TMAO. That was really the exciting moment where we saw that bacteria are having a huge impact on things that appear in our bloodstream. That compound will accelerate heart disease. It both enhances cholesterol to get deposited into cells of the artery wall, and it also inhibits the removal of cholesterol. So the net effect is more buildup. Carnitine is found naturally in most meats. Amounts are low in chicken, higher in lamb, and kangaroo meat has 50 times more carnitine than beef. But carnitine has become a popular bodybuilding supplement and can even be found in energy drinks. We're very concerned about the very widespread use of carnitine as a supplement. That's because carnitine is carnitine to the bacteria. It doesn't really matter whether it comes in an energy drink or a piece of steak. And we've now measured this in thousands and thousands of patients. If you ingest excess carnitine long-term, you might be at increased risk for developing heart disease. Decreasing the amount of red meat in the diet is probably a healthy thing to do. A lot of epidemiology data had already argued for this. This is just reinforcing it now with some data to explain yet another reason to cut the red meat from the diet. So I don't eat red meat on a daily basis like I used to. I now eat it less frequently, but I haven't eliminated it.